Judgeship, she's a nutcase. I tell you, it's him, Your Honor, with his peck pecking and order in my court. This is the third time this month you two have been in for disturbing the peace and destroying city property. I'm ordering you both into therapy until you learn to get along. What? I am Dr. Von Brain. Welcome to my clinic. <sighs> Is this gonna take long, Doc? The hockey playoffs are on TV and... Some of us want to hear what the good doctor has to say about how crazy you are! Now, first, look at these cards. If you say, for instance, tree, good. Broccoli, maybe. Cow riding a bicycle, <laughs> you're cuckoo. Oh, 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 I know, I know, I know! A woodpecker getting flushed down the john! A woodpecker flattened by a steamroller! A dinosaur eating a woodpecker! But I got a copy of these from my den. You're nuts and you're going down, Mimi. I must consult my medical journal, Mr. Woodpecker. I'll be back. What are you up to, Woodpecker? Oh, God! She's attacking me! Mimi! Ah! Stop! <laughs> Help me, Doc! What is the meaning of this, Mr. Woodpecker? <laughs> you had two doors. Who knew? I also have two patients who need deep, deep therapy. Secondly, we will have you do the art therapy. You are to create an artistic expression of how you feel. When you are done, ring this bell. I will look at your artwork and then fully understand what is going on inside your little brains. Ha! It'd take a whole museum full of art to understand your brain, woodpecker. Uh, uh, my true inner feelings are just straining to be let free. Uh -huh. Oh, what do you know? It's the inner me. I wondered where I left it. Responsible for this. He is. You two simply cannot be left alone together. There is only one solution: aversion therapy. These helmets monitor everything you're feeling. Woody, go ahead and pinch Miss Mini. Yes, sir. I'm gonna love this therapy. <laughs> You see, the helmet sensed your hostility and told a hidden nozzle to spritz you. Ha! Serves you right, Woodpecker! Oof! You see, the helmets will keep sending you reminders whenever you aren't getting along, okay? <laughs> I now leave you to be cured. What are you so happy about? I have self-discipline, Woodpecker. Nothing you can do can get me riled up. What's your problem, you raggedy rent gouger? Hmm. This must be what gets the signal from the helmets. Now, when I feel like clobbering Mimi, I won't get it. She will. <laughs> hey, what?
woodpecker. What's that funny looking thing on your neck? Oh, it's your head! Ha ha! Oh! Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> that's it, you screwy walking feather bed! <laughs> <laughs> Man, this sure isn't working like I wanted. Aha! Uh -huh. So the woodpecker's trying to liven things up, is he? All righty. This is for drying your laundry in my microwave. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is for selling my bagpipes without telling me, you penny pinching, cactus loving, loony excuse for a landlady. <laughs> This is for buying it back and serenading me at 2 a.m. Well, I think they should be cured by now. <laughs> My clinic! Oh, no! Woodpecker, you look like a drowned rat. Crazy woodpecker! Crazy woodpecker's crazy landlady! Look what you did with your crazy woodpecker landlady kind of fighting! I hurt my Mommy. Well, I guess there's one thing we can agree on, Mimi. That doctor and his therapies are crazy! I am world-renowned commercial fisherman, Smedley Hook'em and Keep'em, the Salmon King. And I'm just about to reel in another big one. <laughs> well, I'll be. I ain't never seen a fish like you before. What are you, some kind of hairy? A pike? A halibut? Hold on one lure fleckin' minute. You ain't no fishy. You're a penguin. A self-respecting commercial fisherman always tosses back the little ones. Time for this angler to get back to the cannery with the catch of the day. know what you're thinking. A world-renowned fisherman and a pilot, too? Yup. I'm what you might call a renaissance man. <laughs> it's kind of drafty up here in the wild blue yonder. Huh? Drafty and noisy. I'll just switch on the autopilot whilst I go have a little look-see. a non-penguin flight, so I'm sending you back home. Air mail delivery lack. Huh? Hmm, thought I had this baby flying perfectly level like. Now I know I've heard that sound before. Persistent little penguin. Goodbye. A 
hard-working commercial fisherman needs nourishment to sustain his strength. I swear, it's getting so a man can't even have a moment's peace to enjoy the fruits of his labors. And stay out, you freeloading fish napper! Nothing like rewarding yourself for a job well done, I always say. <laughs> Will I be a Marlin's mama? I never knew penguins could fly. <laughs> yep, that boy is positively starting to fry my flounder. <laughs> Stay down this time, you little salmon swiper! Ten. Nine. Huh? Okay. One and lift off. You know, a skilled pilot sure would be lost without his trusty map. I better employ my old fashioned flame splitter. Okay, you little seafood snatcher, the jig is up. You come back here and take what's coming to you, you tuxedo wearing varmint. That's funny. It almost feels like I'm running downhill. Holy mackerel! I plumb forgot to turn on the autopilot! Uh-oh, I pulled the wrong lever. My precious cargo! I lost my precious cargo and nearly lost my plane. This is all your fault, penguin. Gonna bait and hook you when we get down from here, boy. What the? Hey, come back here, you little deserter. It's the family curse of the Hikapukters. <laughs> no! Phew. It almost destroyed my best Swedish meatball trophy. <laughs> my grandmama says the only cure is to stand on your head and drink a glass of vodka. Whoa! Oh, let me help her. I'll never get any sleep. Now let's... 
let's get you into those boots. Hey, this is gonna work. Then we'll both get some sleep. Trust me. Okay, I trust. Oh, Ferd. <laughs> 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 Back. Uh, Get off of me, you... <laughs> ah! Wait a second. Aunt Fern used to cure her hiccups by holding her breath. Hey, Wally, buddy, I know how to stop your heat and duper poopers. <laughs> no way, Woodpecker. Your antidotes are too dangerous. <laughs> I'll cure myself. Hmm. Eh, uh, you couldn't cure a ham, Wally. <laughs> Hold your breath. Hold it. My Aunt Fern swears by this remedy. <laughs> That's it, Wally. Hold it right there. Hey, Wally, say, Wally, what time you got, Wally? Well, it's a quarter to... Skunk! Hold this and your breath. <laughs> Hold it, Wally. It. I promise you don't want to whip of this stuff. <laughs> it worked, didn't it? I broke the curse of the Hinkle Hoop of Whatchamacallits. Hoop? <laughs> oh, that does it. Stay away from me, Woodpecker. You're a curse. <laughs> you, you're worse than any hiccupookters. Okay, fine. I know when I'm not appreciated. Good night! I still have you, my pride and <coughs> shining joy. Scaring him doesn't work. Holding his breath doesn't work. Drinking water upside down doesn't. Wait a minute. These heekin poopers are so bad. Maybe I gotta do all three cures at once. Dad, uh, Woodpecker, no! It is the only thing I got left. The sun's coming up, Wally. Neither of us has slept a wink. I'll let her drop if you don't stop the hiccups! Uh. Oh. Oh. Uh. Water. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm from the Book of World's Records, and I hear someone has a record-breaking case of the Hikapookters. That'd be him. Well, if they're truly record-breakers, I'd like to present the lucky victim with this check for one million dollars! A million dollars? Why, sure. He's got the super-duper Hikapooper thingies. I'm his agent, and I'll need a cut of that cash when he... You get nothing, Woodpecker! I give you a world record, Hikapukta. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> okay. Guess I'll go see about that guy on Maple Street who can whistle with his toes. Wait. Yeah, please. Wait. No, wait. I can do this. Just wait a minute. Just wait a minute. I know I can 
Ah, at least now I can finally get some shut eye. Ah, finally. Sleep. The Hika Poochters. Oh, no. Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. What do you know? Lunch is served. <laughs> Hands off, wise guy. I'm taking a mail order course in Asian studies, Japanese, Chinese, Korea, the whole leg roll. And I will not be interrupted by your... Oh, now who could that be? It's my correspondence karate course. Says here I need a training partner. <laughs> and you're it. No way. Uh -uh. Woodpecker, I'll give you a year's free rent to train me for my big test. Did you say a year's free rent? But you must do everything I tell you, Mimi-san, for obedience is the way of the woodpecker. <laughs> To learn perfect karate rhythm, you must cut sushi rolls to the beat of ancient music. Use the strength of your wrist to flip the sushi over your shoulder and onto this plate without looking. Mm. Woodpecker, I'm a cobra. Hey, hey, Chummy, is that cheese for Wally Walrus? Nope. Says here it's for Woody Woodpecker. Have a nice day. I love a good stinky cheese. Yeah, you can hide, but you just can't run, Mimi. Too good. She could be anywhere. <laughs> you 
can run, but you can't hide, Woodpecker! I see your training is going well, Miss Beanie. I am here to test you. If I don't pass, no free rent for you, Woodpecker! Buddy, I need help. I'll give you my whole collection of kung fu movies on Betamax, but you gotta fight her for me. No can do, Woody-san. The test begins now. Well, then there's only one way to play this. <laughs> you have no courage. You run like the nose of my sister's baby. Your red man is mine, infidel! Cyclone of Death, A+. Plus. Pain, most impressive. Tight rope of terror, A plus again. I must say, you are an amazing training partner, Woodpecker Sun. Yeah, it's all just wax on, wax off. You know what I'm saying? Actually, no. Woohoo! Mimi, you passed the karate test. That's a year's free rent for me. I should have taken French lessons. <laughs> Knock, knock, knocking on my door. Oh, is it one of my oh so many party guests arriving early, perhaps? Huh? <gasps> Strange. I do not see anyone who is there at all. I have moved to these farthest moist reaches of the Antarctic so that I could have parties as wild as I want and would not be disturbing people. <laughs> yeah, yet, my guests do not seem to be arriving for the party of the year. Hmm, I am wondering who of everyone I know can that be in my big comfortable water bed? Why, your little tuxedo is exquisite, my friend. <gasps> you are my very expensive caterer. Please, then, to go to the kitchen and work your little tails off preparing the party of the year. <clears throat> I have ordered this ice sculpture of the handsome horse, which would be me. Please decorate it with some pretty flowers and whatnot. Make it nice, colorful. Plus, make it snappy, my extremely petite little caterer. <laughs> what is my sleepy head caterer doing now? <laughs> it is so hard to find good help. Your behavior has outraged my sense of fair playing. I will now give you only one more chance, my little problem maker. Now get to work pulling the saltwater taffy. For it is whimsical and yet so unexpectedly transcontinental to serve taffy at the party of the year. <laughs> If that boy thinks he's getting a dip, he is sadly mistaken. Can I ask you something? Have you been a caterer for very long? Hmm? Aha! 
Ah, so you are no on the job. Uh, that would explain... Uh, what? If you are not no on the job and you are not... Uh, uh, wait a moment. A thought has now stricken a blow to my brain. You must be one of my specifically invited party guests. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you the Canadian Prime Minister? Hey? Are you Princess Beatrix of the Netherlands? Wait, it cannot be so. You are my long lost cousin Serge, whom I have loved and missed dearly since childhood. Oh, I can now see it in your beady little eyes. Serge! Oh, we are reunited at long last. <laughs> Serge, you must help. The caterer has failed to arrive. Together alone, we must prepare for the party of the year. You will help me by inflating their balloons, yes? Then you will blow like zo. Now you. What is it now, my very irksome and not long enough lost cousin? <laughs> Perhaps it is what we call a blockage. Similar to what is the problem in that little head of yours, cousin Serge. <laughs> Remember how you used to dance to disco all the time when we were children, huh? Well, tonight you will do nothing but be my disc jockey, yes? Huh? Ah, listen to those crisp highs and boom titty boom lows. Huh? You are no caterer! You are not Cousin Serge! You are a, a, a party crasher! I punish you deeply from the party of the year! The guests will no doubting it be arriving soon. I will be on the lookout. <laughs> which is now breaking my back into measurable pieces! Uh-oh. Just ah! wait until I get my claws on you, you miserable... My guests! Welcome to the party of the... Huh? Are you, uh... Mr. Bear, we've had complaints of a loud party going on here. But this party has not even started, eh? Let's go, buddy. Come on. But this is an outrage, I'm telling you now. I will report you to the Prime Minister, the Princess of Outer Caledonia. And all people It's time for another day in the life of Captain Goodlife. Oh, boy. Captain Goodlife is on. He's my hero. Oh, pour me a glass of carrot juice, will you, Wimpole? Already poured, sir. Uh, be a good chap and drink it for me, then. Won't you, Wimple? Right away, <coughs> sir. <laughs> now, burp for me. Won't you, Wimple? Yes, sir. This show always slays me. <laughs> I wish I had someone to wait on me hand and foot and clean up my messes just like Captain Goodlife.
Hey, get that cheeseburger off your beak and take a look at this. <laughs> the Super U2 Home Cloning Kit lets you create an exact duplicate of you in the comfort of your own home. Have twice as much fun. Get twice as much done with a bona fide clone of your very own. Clone of my own? That's right. Don't delay. Order your U2 Home Cloning Kit today. Hey, if I clone myself, I'd never have to do anything for myself again. Even Captain Goodlife doesn't have a clone. Hi, this is Woody Woodpecker. I want a U2 home clone kit. Special delivery for Woody Woodpecker. the blue gene gel into the bubbling beaker. Add your own genetic info. Huh? If you're a woodpecker, a tail feather will do. What? Pluck my own tail feather? Just do it. Boom. Yeah! Wait a minute. If one tail feather makes an exact copy of me, then twice as many feathers should make a twice as good copy of me. <laughs> Say, not a bad looking woodpecker. You're almost as handsome as me. Pretty good work, if I do say so much. Yeah, 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 good to meet you. Nice to know you. Nice place you got here. How much does a treehouse like this go for, anyway? Look, you got no tail feathers. What's up with that? Blah, blah, blah. Enough of the pleasantry. <laughs> Take a chill pill. <laughs> You're here to make my life good. So, for starters, you can stop the blabbing. And let's see, I want... Yeah, go get me, uh, my... Get me slippers. slippers. Huh? How did you know? I'm you, remember? Wait right here. <laughs> Watch it! Hey, not bad. Now, let's see. I want to live the good life, just like my hero. Captain Goodlife! And to live the life, you have to look the part. You need a Captain Goodlife custom wardrobe. Hey, out! Watch it! Ugh. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Nope, 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 nope. Not good enough. It needs a chapeau. Jewelry? Now, wait a minute. I... And for the piece of resistance, a Hawaiian skirt. You're angry, am I right? Yes, I'm angry. You're here to serve my every whim. Not turn my life into a circus act. Yeah, 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 you're angry. I get it. But what say we try and lower the old blood pressure just for funsies? And I know just how to do it. Know how I know? Because I'm you. And I know what always cheers you up is... A hot fudge sundae! Am I right? Ha, ha, ha. Am I right? Am I right? Well, this is what I eat to cheer myself up. Glad I thought of it. Hey, I made two more. You want one? Hey, look! I made two more! How about two more? Two more! Two more! Two more! Two more! Two more. Two more. Okay, let's eat. You are a mess. Listen here, you loudmouth, pushy, out of control woodpecker. Takes one to know one. Hey, know what you need? A nice warm bubble bath to calm you down and clean you up. I'm all over that. I've created a monster me. I gotta get rid of him. Me, uh, him, me, he, before I destroy. It destroys my life. <laughs> There you go, a nice bubbly wobbly bubble bath, the way you like it. Join me? Who, me? Sure! After all, I like everything you like. Yeah, but I like lots of bubbles. <laughs> sure, the more the merrier. <laughs> as many bubbles as possible. <laughs> Come to Papa! Oh no, oh no you don't. <laughs> Take one more step and the duck gets it. The only person who doesn't get it here is you. Hmm, if he's me, then I'd probably pop up next in a disguise. And the disguise I'd choose would be... Hello, don't mind me. I'm just on my way to the theater. Abraham 
Abraham Lincoln. I'll just practice my speech as I go. Four Jaws and seven Star Wars ago, our godfathers brought forth upon this incontinent a new notion relieved of ribaldry. Hey, what's this? Oh, no. You can't do this to me. I've got your whole life ahead of me. Please, I nailed me. Oh, what a world. What a world. What a world. <laughs> oh, Tears. Don't try to live the good life alone. You need someone else around to clean up the messes you make. Until next time, this is Captain Good Life saying, have a good life. Now this is the good life. <laughs> I'm Smedley T. Chuckles, world's most amusing amusement park builder. Hee <laughs> joy buzzer. Gets them every time. But enough yucks. I have purchased 99.99% of Antarctica. Why, you ask? Cheap land and lots of it. To build Winter World, the world's most amusing amusement park. Home of the Avalanche, the world's most amusing roller coaster. Your house is right where the avalanche will roll. So, I'm here to buy your chilly little domicile. Uh, just sign here. <laughs> yeah, I got a million of them. Uh, jokes, not pins. Whoa. Hmm, little fella does not seem amused by my generous offer. Yup, this little guy's sure gonna have a lot of liquid assets when I get through. This here is Winter World's gateway to fun and amusement, where our motto is, whoop de doo most amusing rides. You don't just bump into your friends. You bop their cars for big yucks. Sorry, little fella. I know you're anxious for the fun and games, but... Freeze, you little ice monkey. You can't just... Now, hold on one belly laughing minute. This fella's chilly reception is really starting to shave my eyes. Fresh snow cones are an important part of any amusement park. Silly snowball toss is my own amusing variation on the old shooting gallery game. Huh? If that
that little guy is asking for trouble, I will happily oblige. I am definitely not amused by you, you little fun wrecker. Now I got you. Um, help? Well, how humiliate a target in my own amusing arcade? If this little guy wants a snowball war, I am just the joker to give it to him. There is more than one way to knock down an igloo. Stay right. Yuck, 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 yuck. This roller coaster is ready and fully amusing. You know what? I honestly do not believe this is a gift to celebrate the opening of my park. Mama always said, it's more amusing to give than to receive. That <laughs> little fella's stronger than he looks. most amusing amusement park king surrenders quits gives up it's over goodbye farewell and do not follow me <laughs> Miss Meany. Hey, what's all the racket? They're having a garage sale. A garage sale? Anything good? Cheap? Hey! You can't sell my motorcycle helmet. Hey, that's my helmet, Woodpecker! No way! I wore this back when I was the coolest hippie at the Moonbeam Commune. I was the coolest hippie at the Moonbeam Commune. The Moonbeam Commune? I was Moonbeam! Over that there? Was you. I can't believe it was you two! Moonbeam Commune, free rent, free food, free friendship. Oh, wow! Right on! This is my kind of place. Hey, Mama, says you got free food here. Oh, like yes. Free as the wind. We share everything at the Moonbeam Commune and we all work together. Care to share? Work? Oh, no, not this woodpecker. I just gave away free veggies from the commune garden and got two free tickets to the Mod Baboons concert in return. The Mod Baboons? Oh? Uh? That's the concert of the decade. Oh, please take me, man. Please, please, please. No, Moonbeam. Take me to the Mod Baboons concert. <laughs> Wait, I have it! Whichever one of you proves you are the most helpful hippie brother at the commune will be the one I take to the concert! Now paint the house and make it sing with color, man! Not gonna happen, not gonna happen. Oh, no, no, sir. Hit the road, woodpecker. <laughs> wants this commune to sing with color, then I'm just the go-go bird for the job. Mm -hmm. 
Flurb, flip, flying, flip, flip, it. a lazy crazy in front of Moonbeam. Ah, uh, in front of her, behind her, you're a lazy crazy no matter where you stand, Wally. They'll see, Mr. Smarty Feathers, you bet. I will just switch this red dye for the soap. Is the soap for the wash, my loving commune brother? Thank you, loving commune brother. <laughs> Moonbeam! Come here and see if I... Fix me on the eaves, Grey Wally! Oh, oh man! If Moonbeam sees this... Okay, okay! Hello, boys! Oh, my! Gee, Wally, looks like you got dye all over Moonbeam's clothes! Moonbeam, it's all his fault, but I will help him correct and clean up everyone's laundry. Yeah. Don't you do anything of the sort, Wally! <laughs> this new look, it's bits. I did you tie Tied everything. Tie dyed, you say? Well, you certainly invented a whole new clothing style. It's beautiful! So, so you take, take me to, to the, the concert? concert? You two go to the commune garden and pick what's for dinner. Then I'll decide, like, who I'm taking. I will pick more food than you. from the likes of you two! Money rocks, man! Hey, you remember bell bottoms? These might fit me. Those were the days, man. Yeah, the two hippies! Hey, look at all the money we've made. Never mind if it's water. 